Hello, and welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new. My name is Randasia, or Randy for short. And in this video, we are going to be closing out my November budget number two and setting up my December budget number one. So let's jump right into it. For this paycheck, we did receive um, $2,699.60, and we did roll over $1,100. So let me actually do that. And then we are still budgeting $25.50 for this amount. So what I need to do for this pay yourself first line, I usually don't write this amount in just yet, but I need to remember what the number was. So I wrote it right there. Uh, $2,699.60 minus $25.50. So $149.60. Sixty is what we are paying ourselves first. So right when our paycheck came in, this is the amount that we automatically transferred to our savings account. So let me add up all of this to get our income total for this paycheck. So that is three thousand seven hundred ninety-nine sixty. All right, so as for our expenses for this paycheck, everything was on budget except for a couple of things, such as our uh, electricity bill. I budgeted $20, but it was less than that at $12.81, which left us with $7.19 as um, we were under budget. Our MetLife, which is our car insurance, I budgeted $2.53. And it actually came in at $225.84. So we were $27.16 under budget. Water and trash, I budgeted $120. And then um, it came out to be $119.24. So I did pay this uh, bill late, but instead of charging me a late fee right then and there, they I've noticed that they charge late fees. On your next bill. So some companies charge it right then and there, some don't. So hey, it is what it is. So we were under budget by 76 cents. Um Verizon is well, I budgeted 125 and it's 121 12, which put us under budget by 388. And then all the rest of them were on budget. So um, we were able to put aside the $8.22 that we had remaining overall from this paycheck. Um, sorry, I was just thinking. So um, after all of the income, well, after all of the expenses are paid, um, out of this income total, we were left with $8.22, which we are working towards building up our medical fund right now. So um, that's where we typically put it. But I allocated at the end of every month, and that is like what I do with the money is part of, I tell you what I do with it in our budget closeout um, videos that I do every month. So let's go ahead. Oh, I didn't do the difference between the income. So let's carry these numbers over. So 149.60. So let me go ahead and add up my actual expenses. So if you weren't able to catch my other video, I did let you guys know that um, I am having problems with my computer. Um, well, not so much my iPad Pro, but uh, the video editing software that I use, which is Premiere Pro, it has not been cooperating with me. So if you're familiar with video editing, you can edit your videos by like, making cuts in the footage that you have. So if you want to cut something out or delete a portion of your video, you can do that. And that is the portion that I'm having a problem with. Um, I could reach out to um, tech support with Premiere Pro, but I honestly didn't feel like it because I'm at the point where I'm just like over it. And I know my iPad Pro is old, like 
in in the sense of technology wise. I know it's old, so um, it's not that old, but it is old. It's a couple years old. So I just and it's not like I have Pro. If you do get one to start like YouTube or whatever, um, it is it will edit for you, but it's not the best device that you want to have. You want to actually have a desktop, but you know, just starting off my YouTube channel, I didn't know whether I would be like super serious about it or not. So I didn't want to buy a computer because I already had the iPad Pro and it actually worked. So um yeah, I didn't want to make that investment. But now I'm at the point where I've been on YouTube for um I think it's two years now. So well, while I'm not like super duper consistent, I do take this seriously. So, you know, I'm like, yeah, it's time for me to actually invest. So the actual expenses was $3,611.01. But now I'm going to add up the differences. Oops. Ooh, yeah, all kinds of mistakes. I cannot multitask, y'all. So usually I'm just like quiet when I'm doing the differences, but I'm trying not to worry about it. Yet. So these did add up to the thirty-eight ninety-nine, which tells me that you know all of my math right here is correct. So now I'm going to add the income that we put away from your pay yourself first with the um the money remaining from our expenses and see what we were actually able to put aside in savings for this paycheck. So $188.59 is what we were able to put away for this paycheck. That's paycheck number two. So um, probably the next video is going to be my November budget closeout. So if you want to stay tuned for that. But for right now, let's move over to set up um, December paycheck number one. So pay yourself first. We don't know what that's going to be until we actually get paid. So what we're going to estimate our income as is our typical $25.50. Um, roll over. We are not rolling over um, any money from November to December. So that's going to be zero. And then our income total is $25.50. So budgeted, our budgeted expenses is going to be $110 for gas. Got um, my little side notes on the side here. Groceries is going to be $250. Hulu is going to be $11.99. Life insurance for me is $57.64. My husband requested a little bit more money so um he could buy me a christmas gift even though we weren't supposed to be exchanging gifts he said he said i said what i said woman i'm like all right well i'm already just spending your money on me so what to do with the thing so he wanted another you know an additional twenty five dollars in his uh his fund money this month so cool with me um, I get my fund money, our son gets his fund money, we are doing a secret Santa in the nonprofit that I'm involved in, so that's $25. Costco is a visual reminder, Disney Plus is $6.99, and um, we'll probably turn off Disney Plus after December, but we'll see. Um, diapers is forty dollars. Car repair and maintenance is a hundred. Home repair maintenance is twenty. Beauty gets ten. Toiletries gets five. Clothing gets twenty. Health supplies gets twenty. Oh shoot! Y'all probably couldn't even hear me this whole entire time. Y'all was, the microphone was way behind me. I'm probably going to have to do this over, but we'll see. For right now, I'm going to keep going. Whoops. Amazon is um, a visual reminder. Frontier 
is fifty four seventy six. Child care is five eighty five. And now that I'm thinking about it, this microphone was probably behind me the entire length of this video, which oh my gosh, if it was. Um, school loans is one twelve oh one. Netflix is thirteen ninety nine. iCloud is nine ninety nine. Natural gas is thirty seven oh four. Um, our mortgage we are going to roll over um, from this paycheck. We are going to roll over eight hundred fifty nine dollars and forty five cent. And then medical, we are going to, um, we are going to do 2614 in this paycheck. So let me go ahead and add up all of these expenses. All right, so that is twenty five fifty. So that does match the income that we're expecting, which means we have a zero base budget. So um, I think my son is waking up from his nap. So I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you wanna help me get to 1000 subscribers, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.